If you gave me a chance, I will take it. Seven points at the time. You can't hate it. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome back. Arsenal 4, Brighton 2 at the Amex. Yo, what are we talking about now, man? It's full time trip in the building. I'm doing this intro all in reverse order. I'm just actually really ecstatic right now. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness. But yo, we went to our bogey ground and got it done. <laughs> I hate going to Brighton. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. The Basuma laugh, all that other stuff, you know what I'm saying? That Malpay, the Gwendozi chokes, all the negative hoodoo that's around the Amex when we go there. We had to really consider all that going into this game. I'm, I was I was like, yo, Brad, listen, no matter how good we are, I'm still like, yo, the Amex is the Amex. I hate going to this place. I hate, I hate seeing our team here because it's always something, man. It's always something. But we got it done. We got it done, and in, I think, overall, a, a strong fashion. You know, there were some composure issues at the end of the game, but but all things considered, that was, we didn't even hit final gear. We didn't hit our full gear. We, 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 were, we, we still could have went up a notch. Honestly, there were some things we could have tidied up. We weren't at our, at our full flow best, and we still blew them away in the first hour. Brighton couldn't contend. They really couldn't. They just amazing performances across the board, just to... Again, just talk about some of the score lines. In the first, like, 66 seconds, two minutes, this man, Saka, just comes through, gets a goal off the bat, off of a great bounce down to him inside the box. Then a uh, wonderful, wonderful goal outside the box. Uh, well, actually, just inside the box for Martin Odegaard. Got a little Ozo bounce to it. Had that jumper with him. Ah! <laughs> great. And in the beginning of the second half, a, a poacher's goal from Eddie and Ketia to get stuff underway there. And one crazy, crazy run, just absolutely Dustin Lamptey to get that last goal. Uh, for the fourth. Uh, I believe yeah, Matoma scored a pretty good goal and Ferguson scored a, a, a well, goal off some again def defensive mistakes from us uh, in, in the second half and uh, you know they were back into it just it was insane game insane game but this just showed we I, I gotta I'm, 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 I'm going to admit it fully I was gonna say I'll wait till March but you know what sometimes you gotta be delusional sometimes you gotta just say things and it's alright and I, I'll, I'll do it it's from the heart we, we can do this we can win the league. We can do it, like fully. I and I'm not. And I'm not like you know timidly saying we can do this. Going to places like this and putting on the show in one on one hand is one thing. You know what I'm saying? Us going there, scoring goals like that, playing how we've played, imposing ourselves at a place where we've historically not done the best, at least over the past couple of seasons. But also when we're not playing good, when some of our players who help control the game go off of the pitch and we're losing a bit of our composure, especially at the end of the game, as we saw. Being able to dig in, find a way to literally hold on and get all three points. Win games in tough places when you're not at your best. When, when you're not your best and you still can grind out three points, that's the mark of a champion. That's the mark of champions in this league. And we're showing that through and through every single week, man. I, 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 I don't have enough superlatives in, in my vocabulary right now to describe how we've come through such challenges. Like... Again, we're showing every bit of what a great team looks like. We've come down from deficits. We've held on to leads at the last minute. We blew teams away. We're showing every aspect of winning a game and coming through and getting points and having success in this league right now. And it's undeniable. People are seven points clear. If you told me last year when we were 15 points behind that we'd be seven points clear at the top, that's all you're getting from me. But look at it. Look, insane, insane game, man. I, you you have to you can uh, throw your hands on some great performances, man. Uh, shout out to Martin Odegaard again. I can't make the title him again this time. I I, I can't. You know, what I'm saying? I don't know if it'll go into the algorithm on YouTube or something like that. But again, he just ridiculous performance from start to finish. He's just so influential. The the nutmeg on dunk just to get leave four Brighton players clueless. He's unreal. 29 million pounds, 29 million from Real, bro. Madrid, thank you for your service, man. That was the steal of possibly the past 10 years. That could have been the steal of the century if we're going to be real, man. Amazing player, amazing player. Ben White, again, faultless performance. The guy the guy was doing everything we can, everything he could. And when he came off, you, can, you could see the level of control just dip off when him, Zinchenko, and Partey came off. You could, you saw it. It was evident, man. Tommy also was obviously, you know, rusty, didn't have the greatest of games, but you could see Ben White was just 
un unreal stuff, man. Big ups to Eddie, Eddie and Ketsia again for just, again, the, the work rate, the level of stuff that we do, those poachers goals, those, those, those peaks, those uh, levels of just relentless effort. That's what we need. And he shows that week in, week out. Two and two right now on the bounce. Keep your eye on that, man. People said he would have been dead, but listen, I, he's putting worries to bed and I'm loving it, man. Sokka, amazing again. Like, what? He, he's in he's he's in the world class territory, bro. He's in the world class territory. Just amazing at what he does. Uh, Martinelli had some a bit of troubles today, in my opinion. I think he had a bit of trouble with um Lamptey in the first half. I think Lamptey was kind of keeping him at bay. But when the moment came in that second half to put the game away, he just burned Lamptey, burned Lamptey, turned Lamptey into a lamb roll, bro. Just left him to the side and just scored, slotted it in. Fantastic, man. Again. I will speak to, you know, credit to Brighton. I will say credit to Brighton, of course, because they didn't, you know, lie, lie on their sword when it was, you know, 3-0 down. Deserby got them fighting. Deserby is a really good manager, and he's got a really good side. They did, didn't give up. And when those changes came and they saw opportunities to get forward, you know, they made things happen. There was obviously some mistakes on our end, but they showed effort. Matoma, again, I will say it. If you guys did not see Matoma's performance today— he was great. He is going to be at a big club in the very, very near future because he's ridiculous. Uh, and just a, a good. St it was it was a good game for them. It was really a good game for them. But we take all three points. Thank goodness. And we move forward uh, just to zoom through these player ratings really quickly before I talk about what's next up. Uh, let's run through these lines real quick. First, Ramsdale and goal. Ramsdale, I'll give him. I'll give him a 7.5. Again, I don't think there was too much that he could do. Uh, you know, that was like, you know, it was just tough. It was just tough luck. It was tough. So one, one, something went through his legs that he didn't really see coming off of Saliba. Um, you know, there was... You know, just, just stuff that happened with the two goals that, that, that were conceded. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's too faultless. Uh, you know, got rid of danger when needed, came through and clutch, you know, calmed things down at the end, especially, which I thought was really important just to slow the game down. So he gets 7.5 for me. Ben White gets an 8.5. Ben White, again, just... What what more can you ask of him? He's putting in eight, eight point five, seven point five, like good performances week in week out, and he's just calmly marshalling with the rest of the back line, but being a leader. You know what I'm saying? Helping, especially with the control of the game. Being able to snuff teams out with how we control the ball and retain possession. He's a key in that. And if you guys can't see that, I don't know what to tell you, man. There's a reason why people were mad when this guy wasn't playing for the English squad in the World Cup because he's like that. So 8.5 for me, great performance today. William Saliba, I'm going to give a 6.5. Now, he is a young defender, and I'm going to back this man till the day I'm, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? I'm backing this man. He is still and will remain the best young center back in the league, in the world. Call it, quote it, do whatever you want. But he will have mistakes. He's 21. He's young. You know, he's going to have these moments where, you know, uh, an unlucky spill comes off his knee and he's going back to goal. You know what I'm saying? The past two games haven't been great for him, but I have no doubt that he will bounce back. It's just unfortunate stuff. You know, again, being able to just just cope in the, in the in the system man he had to deal with you know Matoma when things weren't happening late game as well uh it, it is just not the best game for him no, not the best game but no doubt he will recover so before y'all go in on him man just chill out relax he will be top shelf again don't worry again he got time to grow for one and he, it's not even like he's gonna be like bad the rest of the season i don't think he'll be he'll, he'll be better next week probably so chill on him chill on him 6.5 though uh next we got gabrielle gabrielle i'm going to give a 7.5 i think he was uh really really good in defense today i feel like where a lot of people you know again give saliba a lot of praise and don't uh, give gabrielle his just due i feel like he's definitely earned some just due today again just getting rid of danger being aggressive uh on certain things where where there are moments where we needed to press up and close the ball down he was there he was key in that you know uh, again winning winning key tackles just getting to it man it, gabriel's so important to our team my man looked like nelly but he getting it done he making it hot in there for the for the defense man he making it hot in there so i you can't knock him bro gabriel is important to this side I, I i tell you every single time i'll tell you every single time he's important and he's getting better so you one good performance today, man. Good performance today. Got the job done. Zinchenko, I'm going to give and I'm gonna give an eight. I'm gonna get an eight today. Just again, just the just control factor. The control factor. You know, when there was times where he got called out or like the transition part on the defensive end, they were trying to get in that that little channel behind him. You know, there was maybe a little bit of trouble there, but I don't, I don't think much came from him not being in that position. I think more of the trouble happened when he got subbed off. And you know, well, actually, Tierney, I'll talk about it in a second, but I don't think it was his side of the field that was the problem. But Zinchenko so controlled. Zinchenko brings such a level of poise and 
the way Arteta wants us to be, where we kill games off, where we don't give them, you know, where he says, oh, like Pep is the most defensive person in the world by controlling the game and how he employs us to control games. Zinchenko so key in that. And he's he's just fantastic, bro. He's just, I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. Arsenal through and through. This guy just, you know, he loves the club. He's passionate and he just helps us so much. So big ups to him. I give him a uh, 7.5. I think that's what I said. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Granite Shaka. Granite Shaka, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to give him, uh, I'd say a 7.5 today. I say a 7.5. I feel like he wasn't as, you know, uh, as, uh, what's the word I'm gonna use here? It wasn't as prominent in attacking situations as he was again. Help recycle the ball. Does what he does normally. It, it, this was this was a pretty you know like bog standard performance for him at the season, which is a damn good one to, in my opinion. But I think he wasn't the best out of the midfield uh, trio today. There were two others, of course, the the other two that were better. I, I think just because how they contributed. So yeah, seven point five, pretty solid. Moving on to Thomas Partey, I'm going to give him an eight point five. Uh, that interception at the beginning, uh, you know. When Lamptey was on a run, there are a few people that can just take take it by themselves, take challenges on by themselves, win them, and get the ball recycled back in with an accurate pass just like that. It's so hard to do, and Partey does that wonderfully. 8.5. Uh, this guy has been one of the best holding midfielders this season, if not the best. So, again, and that's everybody included in the league. So, you say what you want about that. Partey is playing out of his socks this season. This is the Partey that, you know, people were signing on for. This is the guy that's been making it happen. So, shout out to him. Martin Odegaard, again, is my man of the match. He has a 9.5. What more do you want? What more do you want from him, bro? Shout out to my guy, Wolfie, that was literally predicting this man. He's going to be a baller from, again, 15, 16. And people were like, yeah, nah, he's wise. Yeah, blah. He's, he he don't got it yet. Da, da, da. This kid is a baller now. He's a baller now. Ozil bounce shot. Crazy, crazy long, like, cross field pass. One one side of the field to the other. The vision, the skills, the techers. He has everything you need. And he's getting his shooting boots. He's getting his shooting boots, too, bro. What did I say last week? What did I say last I might put an alert up here, bro. If you watch video, I was like, yo, if he gets his shooting boost, it's a little bit tighter. He's a problem. And he is a problem, bro. He's, listen, he is on track to be in that player of the season conversation. I'll say that right now with no hesitation. He is on track for that. You better watch out. 9.5, Martin Odegaard. What a captain's performance. Moving on to the final uh, three players in the starting 11 here. We have Gabriel Martinelli. I'm going to give Martinelli a... I'm going to give him an 8. He's getting an 8 today. Again, had a really tough time. I I, I think a pretty tough time against Lamptey, bro. Lamptey is a really good defender. I'm, I personally really like Lamptey a lot. I, I wanted him to, you know, come to Arsenal when he was, like, you know, before injury. I still do now. Uh, again, he was giving him some troubles. Again, really, really uh, tough there. But, again, he when the going got tough and when there was crucial moments there, he was, again, just quick to hold out helped helped in the defense and when that one moment came that he needed to tuck it away he tucked it away again helped with the first goal the first two uh, first 60 seconds again just put it across for Saka but you know cross or shot whatever you want it's in the box and he made the move so you got to credit him for it uh wonderful stuff from Martinelli today uh Eddie and Ketia I'm going to give an eight as well his work is uh very very much appreciated and needed uh you know where, where Jesus is I, I think really, really in influential in all parts of the play. I feel like he's a hunter, bro. Eddie's a hunter. Eddie, Eddie knows how to chase down stuff. He has the pace. He has the engine. He knows he's he's not gonna lack. He's not gonna lack, and he always is ready. I, I, I think so. And it's just he's getting more confident. The more and more confident, you know, he he, he is. The more he's going to score, the more he's going to do things like that and chase down goalies who might have a loose pass. So, wonderful stuff from him. But Kyle Saka gets an 8.5 today. He was wonderful. He was wonderful, bro. How can you stop this kid? How can you stop this kid? He, what do you want? What more do you want, man? I can't even... Listen... I lied. I lied. He gets a nine. He gets a nine today. I'm sorry. He gets a nine today. He is doing everything that's required of him and more. Remember that time. I think it was 2020 or 2021. He's posted that picture. Say, like, Arsenal fans, you deserve more. He's given us everything and more since that. He has not let us down, not once, in my opinion, since that thing. He's fought every day. He's worked. He's gotten better, stronger, faster, more intelligent, more patient, more connected with the rest of the squad. This We're seeing an actual megastar birth before our eyes, man. He's going to get better and better. And it's going to be a tough time for the league, man. Wonderful performance today. Uh, moving on to the substitutes here, because we have some early changes at the 60-minute uh, mark, I believe. 
Kieran Tierney, uh, I'm going to give a seven, honestly. I think he held up uh, uh, pretty well on that side uh, when he came on for Zinchenko. Again, just lost a bit of control, but the the, the, the defensive, the, the nouse, man, the tenacity, the, the, KT brings it. KT brings it always, so I think he did really well uh, for slotting in there. Uh, there were some points where I think it was either in CISO or the other young kid that came on. He was given a little bit of trouble on that side, but he stayed with it. He stuck with it, and then, uh, yeah, he saw it through, so can't hold him for uh, hold him much for that. Uh, Tommy Yasu on the right-hand side, I'm going to give a three. I think he's still rusty, man. Still rusty from injury. Still rusty from you know, you know, World Cup stuff. Uh, there was a lot of you know trouble around it. Matoma was giving him the business, man. Matoma was giving him business, uh, and it was a tough thing to watch for a little bit. I can't even lie, but he'll pick up form. He's gonna recover. He's gonna be back to his best. Uh, but right now, uh, Ben White, I think, has the the right back position firmly solidified. But you know, shout out to Tommy Yasu still, still came through, still put in his shifts, put his body on the line what more can you ask for um let's see who was here next uh muhammad al i'm gonna give a bog standard five i don't think there was much that was you know in his path chase things down just ridiculous ridiculous uh work rate and you know he, he comes in to do a job and he does that uh, pretty much every time so shout out to him and uh rob holding i'm gonna give a five uh just came in short up you know what i'm saying you know when he comes in he's like ayo five lock it down lock it down bro sell block d vibes so uh shout out to him and yeah we we we, we were seeing it through we were seeing it through so uh that's good ref i'm giving a negative 857.65 because this guy was just so loose with these like he was gonna let certain things he just let go certain shelves and pushes and other things he was like oh, automatic yellow immediate yellow i'm like bro there wasn't too much consistency with what I saw in his refing, and it, it, it was just very, very weird. The VAR was doing doing what it was supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? And Anthony Taylor just loves to be a main character, bro. Just relax, just relax. He didn't have to give out half the cards that he, you know, that he actually issued. So it is what it is. Uh, fans today, I could hear him in the stadium singing. I'm going to give him 11 out of 10. They were great. You could hear him from minute one to minute 90, and the cheering the team on, keeping it, keeping us lively. The 12th man, as always important, and Mikel Arteta. I got to give him. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say an eight today. I'm gonna say an eight today. Very very difficult place to come to, uh, especially for us in the past couple of seasons. I think he understands what it meant to end 2022 off with the right note, going seven points clear. I think he was well aware, but the way he transmitted those ideas to his to to his team, you know, to the squad and and the mentality, just to go out see the you know see the game through. A little bit of control loss, but I, I don't think that was you know too much of his doing. You know, any any confusion on that part. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're cooking with gasoline, petrol, you know what I'm saying? Fire. We cooking with everything, man. Grease, whatever you want. Olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil. I, whatever whatever you want to put on the, on the pan, bro. We're cooking with it right now. Seven points clear. Next up, a big, 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 big game against Newcastle United. I, I think that's going to be an important tone setter for 2023. We got to get a result out of that game. Uh insane times ahead man but i'm gonna leave y'all with this i say i said it in the beginning of the video and i'll say it again we can win this league this season dang i can't believe i said that i can't believe i said that but these boys are cooking all right let me know what you guys thought of the, of the match in the comments below i appreciate you guys for all the time and watching and sticking with me rocking with me make sure you stay tuned for more content man sub like hit that notification bell most importantly you got more sports content coming from arsenal stuff man you got more fifa content coming got a couple cool series uh, in the chamber pretty much ready to roll out soon so be uh be careful you know what i'm saying watch out for that watch out for that um and yeah just stay locked in because we got a lot more season left some watch alongs on youtube may be coming as well so you might want to stay tuned for that guess who's going to be involved gonna be a good time man so make sure you stay locked in but that's all i got for this video do not trip so see you in the next one man see you in 2023 c-o-y-g